What's up and welcome to another episode of Hunting Them Games, the weekly show where I showcase all the games that I'm adding to my collection and I talk about all the great deals that I've found. This week it is all about Xbox 360 pawn shop deals and then one great deal I got from GameStop. So stay tuned. All right, before we get into the games, I want to remind you, if you're new here, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that ding dong for notifications. This show goes live every Monday at 9 a.m., so uh, make sure you hit the ding dong notification thing so that you can get a reminder to tune in check out the games i'm adding to my collection and if you have any games you're adding to your collection or you see anything that you like or don't like about these games make sure you leave a comment below i love talking to you guys about it all right on to the games so as you know i love going into pawn shops i think pawn shops are some of the best deals that you can you can find really i mean you can you can get lucky on ebay and and find some good deals at garage sales but you may hit five or six garage sales that have nothing and uh, usually that's not the case with pawn shops. There's one pawn shop in particular really close to my house. And oftentimes they'll walk in. Well, you'll walk in and there'll be a big box of games for like one or two dollars. And uh, it just so happens I was able to get lucky enough to do that. And they're all Xbox 360 games. I do have one game at the end. I'm, I'm very excited about that I got from GameStop. It was a deal I couldn't pass up. But let's talk about these 360 games. There's a lot of games here that I haven't played at all. So we'll go through maybe some of the games that I'm not super excited about first and get them out of the way. The first one is Fable Journey. Never been a big Fable guy. The uh, I played it on the original Xbox and man, I don't know. Like I I never saw the appeal. I know they remade it and there's like three of them and there's just games I haven't got behind. But Fable Journey is a Connect game and I got another Connect game here, Dance Central Two. And I'll just go ahead and drop out the other one. Connect requires connect. <laughs> Puss in boots. So there's three connect games that I got. These connect games were all a dollar a piece. So that's kind of what's different about these. So, I, you know, it's a dollar. You pick it up. Of course you do. Maybe one day I'll get a connect. I don't have one yet. I don't intend on getting one anytime soon. But, you know, I might see one out in the wild and uh, give those a chance. Now, the real games that I'm actually probably going to play, or at least try, I got all of these for $2 a piece. So there was a bin, two bucks a pop. Yes, yes, I'll uh, let you take a look if you can see that $2 right there. Hopefully that, that shows up on the camera. So the first one here is Darkness 2. A, uh, I guess, psychological sci-fi uh, first-person shooter type of game. I played the first Darkness. It kind of got me uh, motion sick back when I played it, so I didn't. I never finished it. I don't know why it made me motion sick. I know there was a lot of uh, kind of distortions to the cameras and stuff, but uh, this is, yeah, Darkness Two, two bucks. Don't have that yet. Here's a game that I do have. Let me make sure that it's actually in here. Okay, it is, and that's Portal Two. I love Portal Two. Portal One was fantastic. It was amazing. Uh, the humor, the pacing, the puzzle. It just felt so good, and Portal 2 just expanded on that completely. Uh, so I'm excited to play this. This is a game that I would love for my wife to play, so I am going to introduce her to that. I think I have the PS3 version. I may have the, the Xbox 360 version already, but two bucks for a fantastic game. Another $2 game, Mafia 2. And this is a, like a story-driven, kind of like GTA game, but takes place... I think back in the day when the mobsters were like, you know, that was that was the thing, classic cars and all that. So let's see, includes four style packs, three story packs, the betrayal of Jimmy, Jimmy's Vendetta, and Joe's Adventure. Vito Scaletta. Okay, yeah, so this is <laughs> definitely uh, basically a mob version of uh, kind of Grand Theft Auto. I think this this game in particular is one of the good ones. I know that there are now three Mafia games. I played the first one a little bit, didn't jive well with it. I'm not a big fan of those kind of games, but we'll give it a try. For Like I said, for two bucks, you can't go wrong. And this is one I had never seen before. So this is the Ultimate Action Triple Pack. So I think at the end of the life cycle, Xbox 360, they were having a lot of these kind of uh, 
compilation and ps3 too but this has tomb raider sleeping dogs and just cause 2 and just cause 2 is a fantastic game i, I played a lot of that game and i don't think i really got very much uh, i didn't get very far in the story but i remember just having fun zip lining and, and parachuting all around the island sleeping dogs is definitely a game i want to check out and tomb raider is a game that i've checked out just haven't beaten so yeah three really really great games for two bucks absolutely excited call of duty modern warfare 2 meh sniper these games, I think there's been quite a few... Se this is Sniper Ghost Warrior. There's been quite a few sequels to these games. I uh, heard a lot of really cool things. Um, I don't know if it has something to do with the Sniper Elite series, because I have that on, I have a copy of that on Wii U, and I think another uh, another system? I, it's, it's hard to keep track. I need a better app, or I need to actually be more consistent with my app. But I definitely don't have Sniper Ghost Warrior. I'll probably play it. Two bucks. Here's a game that I'll definitely play. This is Warhammer Battle March. The Warhammer games, anything with like high fantasy, even the the space space marine stuff. I uh, I mean, yeah. Going to definitely give that a go. No idea about this. Omerta City of Gangsters. $2. It was part of that whole box full of games. Uh, so I grabbed it. Um let's see. Sim City by way of Al Capone. Oh, okay puts you in the boots of a fresh from the boat immigrant with dreams of the big life working your way up the criminal hierarchy of 1920s atlantic city starting with small jobs recruiting new gang members and expanding your empire by taking territory from other mobsters okay so that's definitely different than mafia 2 that's something that i would actually actually play uh RPG light development trees, strategic real-time gameplay for planning coups, expanding your territory. So just a take on like the strategy um, strategy game. So that's, yeah, that's awesome. I definitely want to try that. I got three more here. One that I've played on Wii U, but it's on 360. That's Assassin's Creed 3. Oh, I didn't even notice. This is a collection. Assassin's Creed the Americas collection. So Assassin's Creed Liberation. I think that was a PS or a PC, yeah, PlayStation Vita game. Never played that before. Assassin's Creed 3 I have played and Black Flag I have played. So this is three games in one for two dollars again. Man, I didn't even realize that's an even better deal than I thought. We got uh better with Connect, but not doesn't need Connect. This is a two dollar game. Defiance. I think this was based off of the television show know nothing about that join thousands of players for blistering third person action and massive co-op battles oh i i wonder if this is even still <laughs> like i wonder if the servers are still up for that and i doubt thousands of people are playing it the last 360 game is a game that i'm i'm excited about but it's really not that great of a game so back when the 360 launched, there was, you know, there's a pretty good launch lineup. And, you know, I want to get all those launch lineup games, launch window games. And this is a game that I really was anticipating. It's called The Outfit. And it's like a real-time strategy war game, but it's a little goofier and it's not like super intense. It's hard to explain. But like you can run around and then like on demand drop like stuff that you need in front of you and let's see if there's multiplayer system link 2 to 8 yeah online multiplayer i remember renting this yeah rent back when we rented video games and i really enjoyed it and i even got the outfit uh faceplate from my xbox 360 which i still have so this is just another one added to my collection that is going to grow that that launch day because i want to go back and like make a video just have a whole game night honestly of all the games that i played on the 360 launch window we're talking perfect dark zero cameo need for speed most wanted um, i think there's a tony hot game out uh, it's a lot of really good games that came out in that time period a lot of nostalgia for that time period so that was it two bucks a pop for all those games great deals don't underestimate the value of a good pawn shop check back often get to know them know their names i've even given some of them my card that they could contact me if something great comes in and sometimes they do sometimes they don't but this last game is a wii game it is a game that is near and dear to my heart and this game used to be like almost a hundred dollars right now i think it rolls around 40 or 50 
And of course, I didn't get the box art, but if you can read that, it is Xenoblade Chronicles. I love Xenoblade Chronicles. This is beautiful disc art too, right? The Wii, the Wii U, man, they have really good disc art. Um, but Xenoblade Chronicles, this was 20 bucks online from GameStop. It was always a gamble if you're going to get the box art or the actual box art or not. And I didn't, but I typically don't. That's usually how it works. But 20 bucks for that game, even though I'll probably never play it because I now have the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, which is better in every conceivable way. It's still great to have this just as kind of a collector's item. And like I said, for $20, when it's still like usually 40 bucks or so at least, it used to be really expensive. It's gone down quite a bit, but I'm super happy to add that to my collection. I'm going to play some of these games. Some of them are just going to go into my collection. If I have doubles, I'm going to sell them just like I always do. And then I'm going to use that money to fund more games that's how we roll here on hunting them games if you've played any of these games that i haven't let me know how they are i'm, I'm very curious as uh, some of them especially this omertas omertas city of gangsters that looks very intriguing to me uh if you have some pickups yourself let me know always like comment subscribe if you comment i'm always going to comment back i love talking to you guys about video games all right happy hunting everybody see you next week Five dollar bill and I'm gonna get changed And I'll be talking about this deal on hunting them games I'm creeping